one of the things that you see all the time is sort of the the self help kind of stuff is that you should get up early in the morning to get going and do your thing, you know, get up at four or five o'clock in the morning and then you get up and you do your thing and then you're supposed to somehow tackle the day by getting up early and everything is supposed to be, you're supposed to be somehow a machine to do this. And I even hear people talk about that every once in a while, how they get up early. And, you know, I did that for a while. Um, from time to time, I remember when my kids were small, I'd get up at 4 a.m. and do work from 4 until 9 o'clock. Um, and then a few years ago, I was doing this like workout group for a couple of years and I'd get going at five o'clock in the morning, but my, I don't do that now. My life changes. And I think that's kind of what I want to say is that, you know, it really doesn't matter what time you get up. It does not change anything in your life. It, the only thing it does is shifts around when you actually get up. It doesn't do anything in terms of making you more productive and, you know, changing the day or anything like that. In fact, I would feel very tired to get up early. Although I like to get up early. It's, you know, it's a pleasurable experience, but I feel very tired throughout the day. It really doesn't change anything in your life. Your body is an organism and that organism requires a certain amount of sleep requires whatever it is for you right it, maybe it's eight hours and you know either the sort of self-helpy kind of stuff tells you to get up early because then you'll be a titan of industry or you know you'll go to bed late because you got to work all night to get your work done and all this kind of stuff it's just a bunch of nonsense it's always been a bunch of nonsense to think about that. And that you hear that um, all of this kind of self helpy kind of stuff really comes out in very competitive industries, right? So, for example, um, you know, in, in law school, in, in PhD programs, it comes out where people, you know, did all nighters or they worked all night long to get something done. And frankly, none of that benefits you to do those kind of things. Um, it really doesn't because it takes away the next day. Every time that I would do something like that, where, you know, I would aggressively pursue something where there was a deadline and all of this nonsense, it would take away. And you kind of learn that, right? You learn that... Um, your life is it's very much an organism that adapts and changes to the environment. And so some people will do these, you know, deadlines and work really hard to get it done. And, you know, all of this kind of nonsense where they, they say they work really hard to get it done. Um, or they're, you know, they'll do a last ditch effort. will stay up all night and do all this crazy nonsense. But, you know, the reality is, is um, you can't do that forever. And so the organism will naturally go to its, you know, what is it, homostasis or, you know, come back to its natural level of what it should be. And so it's going to expect a certain amount of sleep, right? Your body wants a certain amount of sleep. Your body wants a certain amount of time for entertainment and connection. Your body wants all of these kind of things. And if they don't have them, then you're you virtually just shut down. You have different things that go on that shut down your system. And I've learned that lesson so many times. Every injury that I have in my body is because I neglected exercise. Um, and then I go and do something and I get that injury from neglecting exercise. Every time that I feel really awful, 
It's because something in my life is out, right? It's there is not that sort of coming back to reality and it's it's not coming back where I feel okay with who I am. And that's the bigger thing to remember is that you always kind of come back to where you are, what you're about, you know, the certain amount of sleep that's that's okay for you, that you need, um, a certain amount of exercise that you need, because you can't exercise all the time. That's unrealistic too. The certain amount of work that you need to do and, and you sort of balance all of these particular things. And I think the easiest thing, at least for me, is to, you know, remove some of the things that I would be naturally pulled to do. One of them was, you know, I love, used to love playing video games. I don't anymore. I don't get that enjoyment out of it. Um, you know, I used to love playing video games. So it would take, you know, hours away, away from me. So I cut that out. And that was an easy one to fix because the rest of my life was falling apart. And I think you just have to look at all of these kind of things and think about what you can remove from your life to make it so it functions a little bit better and um, be okay with just having your life as it is and keep working towards whatever it is that you're working towards with your sort of functioning normal life that you have. It doesn't mean that you have to go and, and you know, do all this sort of crazy heavy lifting and get up in the morning and all this kind of stuff. Like, that's, that's crazy. Um, it means that you just live your normal, ha healthy life and you try to find ways to do your thing, whatever that particular thing is. And, and you live your life around that. So you have a healthy, functioning life. Anyways, I just was thinking about how ridiculous it is to get up early and do all of that nonsense stuff. All right, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.